Hey guys and girls, welcome back to another example video here on this beautiful channel, on this beautiful day. I'm back in my uh, study town here, so I'm going to have to speak a little low because we're living together in here. It's pretty early in the morning, but felt like making an example. So what we're going to do today is uh, something pretty important. As we've seen, we've used a dynamic array. Now I removed the old one since we used this one before I removed the code so we can recreate uh, it again uh, just to practice. Now the important thing is you can create a dynamic array uh, with strings, integers, all kinds of stuff and primitives and whatever but you can also create these for your own classes and that's really important. So I thought today we'd make a person class and in that class we would um, we would use that class and a, a, a create a dynamic array with that class. So let's say person, just like that. Bam. Okay, so we have a person class. Now, I like to do this, just like that. We have person. A person isn't going to be anything complex. Person is just going to be a a container for a few smaller uh, variables. So we're going to have to include string okay excuse me one second here there we go okay so include string so uh, we're gonna have name we're gonna have an integer age and we're going to we're gonna stick with that we're gonna stick with that you know we you can add as much as you want here and then we're gonna have a, um, a getters for these and setters so Let's see. We're gonna have a std string get name const const okay and we're gonna have a return this name. Alright. Now what we can do is inline just like that and what we're we'll just copy this and create a this h and say this int get h so we have a we have two getters here we might not need setters just now we, we don't need that we, we just use our uh, constructor here so std string name equal none uh, int age equals zero so we give it a default value okay now we're not going to define these in here we're gonna do that in here so Let's do. You don't want to give your default values in here as well. You just do that in the prototype. So you have that, and we're gonna actually use the um, uh, what do you call it? Uh, the constructor initialization list here. So remember initialization list, and it can uh, in this list it can uh, what do you call it? differentiate between the local variables and the member variables so you don't have to worry about that so we have that done here we won't need the destructor for this we already defined the inline versions of our getters in here um, to return the age and the and the stuff and what we can do is we can do this inline or we can just do a std string uh, get string okay const and string right and what we'll do is we'll say person get string and then return now I'm gonna use a function called to string alright so we're gonna do this name this whoops plus this I think I used that in a previous video as well but anyhow age um, let's do this age this plus two string age just like that so we get a long string with a, we can call it two string actually two string is a better better name 
just like that and we use this to string and we get it as a long string so our person class is finished now we're gonna work on our dynamic array again so person array okay so why isn't that working well we're gonna have to include our new class that we created person so we include person now we can have a dynamic array of people now we can have a dynamic array of people now what that means is I'm actually gonna have to include the uh, oh whoops sorry about that the array so this means that we're gonna have a bunch of our own class in here so we're gonna have to change some stuff person it's not a part of the STD namespace so there we go remove that and bunch of stuff bunch of stuff we are good we are good person get at uh, okay well it's a little strange anyhow we'll we'll work with that it's the thought here that counts so we'll start with this this cap equal um, let's say we start at a 10 this number of elements equals 0 this array new person pointer cap okay just like that just like that we it's just like making a dynamic array of anything else and then we're gonna have to do the delete this array position I and then we're going to just delete this array and we're gonna create our member functions so let's start with our private member functions the initialize and we we actually yeah we'll we'll use it void the array initialize from we'll use it why not um, for so we're going from to number no cap all right and then this array at position i equals a null pointer and uh, if you haven't seen my other videos where i go through in detail what's going on this is just a few videos back you can watch it um, so uh, this will be a little quicker so that we can focus on what's important the array band void oh whoops <sighs> there we go and then we will do our expand function here now remember the steps again again we'll start by increasing cap doubling cap you can do whatever you want here you can add two to it just don't add one adding one is the most unnecessary uh, operation you can do so multiply by two is pretty good you save a lot of space and then you create a whoops a person temp array pointer sorry equals no pointer pointer excuse me equals new person pointer um the new cap the new capacity and we will copy over everything number this number of elements then we'll say this r dot i uh, temp array at position i equals new person this array and then we'll copy that value into that person now we need a copy we should have a copy construct no never mind it has one by default never mind we'll talk about those later uh, copy constructors and stuff like that we're coming to that now actually in a little bit and we're gonna overload the um, uh, this this operator the bracket operator as well just in the coming videos here uh, just after I show all these small details so then we're going to uh, we're gonna copy that over we're going to delete the old one we're gonna delete the old one and delete this array at position I delete this array there we go did I do that here there we go that's that's important that's very important so there we go then we're going to call temp array we're going to assign the old one to the new one and then we might as well this 
initialize from number of elements. We don't need this at all because we're using number of elements everywhere. Again, if you watch my old videos, you'll understand why we don't need it. Uh, why are you cl crying? Okay, there we go. So we have all this done. We have all this done. Now we're going to have a void add add person element. Okay. Now this is kind of meh because it has to create a temporary person. Now it's okay with integers and stuff, but when you have bigger classes, you don't want to pass by value like this all the time and have it copy stuff. Now in our case, it's fine because person isn't that big of a class or that big of an object. It just has a string and an integer, but otherwise you might want to either put in the parameters in here like a name and an int and then create a person in here, a new person at that position with those values, or you just pass it by reference, a constant reference or something like that. Now we can try doing this because, oh whoops, person, well actually it should, it should, we could do this. Now passing in constants in here, you could do it, but uh, it's not something I recommend. Um, let's just do a const personal. Now let's try that. Let's see if that works without errors. Since I don't really, really 100% remember, but we'll see what happens. So if this number of elements is larger or equal to this cap, let's ex let's this expand, and then this array at position this number of elements plus plus equal new person element. We'll copy it over from there. So this new person here is actually created and stored. That's why it's okay to create it. Here we would have a copy first and then it would copy into the actual person and then this copy will be deleted. A bunch of unnecessary operations going on there. So we'll try to we'll try to fix that. And then we'll say person um, get at DRA get at and index const. Okay, we'll do that. And then we'll say if index is less than zero or index is larger or equal to this number of elements, we'll throw an out of bounds exception. Okay, just like that. Or else, if it doesn't, we'll return this uh, array at position uh, index. Okay, so we have get at finished, and then we'll say we have that in line right there. So we're basically finished with our dynamic array of people, of people. So we'll try this. Let's say dr p p array. Okay. And we'll say p array dot add person Bob. He is twenty five years old, and we'll just say for p array dot get number of elements. We'll say p r dot get at uh, get at i dot two string. Whoops. that line and then we'll say C out just like that and we'll see if this works now we might get a bunch of crashing here I hope not okay that worked so we got Bob age 25 so we could pass it in by reference here this is much better to do no matter where it is even I mean you could pass in constants apparently um, but it could be dangerous it could be dangerous if you try to change it or something uh, we can test that out test that out a little later but let's then just add a bunch of bobs here. Ten bobs. And then we'll see if it expands properly. It expanded properly. We have a bunch of bobs. We have a dynamic array of people. And it is using the two string function there to print them out. So that's it. That's it. It's very similar to the other examples we're making. But we're going steps at a time here. So I hope you learned something. Go ahead and, and work on this. We'll go into templates and, and other things really soon and overloading the operators. So, yeah, again, thank you. Thanks for the support. Take care, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.